Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over protecting cells in Microsoft Excel, protecting cells in your worksheets. So, I've got an Excel workbook open here, and it's blank, so let's go ahead and get into this. And, of course, you'd want to protect cells so that if you need to make a spreadsheet for someone else to use, they can't modify your formulas, they can't change some of the data, and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and put together a really quick spreadsheet, and I guess going down here we'll have a... go through December so just a little autofill there we got our months and let's have a couple of regions here okay I've got some regions and let me go ahead and put in some uh, random data there we go got a bunch of random numbers in there now let's paste those as values I know I'm going kind of quick over these particular skills, but um, topic for another day. And let's just go ahead and put in some totals and some average. All right, so now we've got our data. Let me zoom out just a little bit more so this all fits on here. And I'll do a little bit of formatting. I will align those to the right so they line up with the numbers. I'll select some cells here and uh, change the fills, apply a bunch of borders, and I will. Uh, a little too light. There we go. So I've got my data. And let's assume that the worksheet you've been creating for your for your work is obviously you've got some complicated complicated formulas in there and you want other users to be able to change some things but not others. So let me show you something here and it doesn't really matter where I click first, but let's check this out. Um, on the home ribbon here, I'm going to click and expand the uh, numbers formatting dialog box. And we get the format cells dialog box. And over to the far right is the protection tab. Let's go ahead and click on that for a second. There's not a lot of options in here. There's locked and there's hidden. And I'd like to bring this to your attention. Notice that locked is already selected. Click OK. All of these cells are already locked. Any cell that I click on, if I were to go and open up that protection tab, you'll see that it's locked. And the analogy I'd like to give for this is it's kind of like a locked door that's left open. Obviously, if you uh, lock the door to your house, but you leave the door wide open, there's no security. And that's the exact situation we have here. All of these cells are locked, but the door is left wide open. So that means I can go in here and I can change numbers there's no security okay I could delete a formula and break it I could modify a cell that contains a formula and break it so we want to be able to lock this down and protect it but I want other people in my work to be able to change some of the cells I don't want them to be able to modify perhaps the labels or, and I don't want them to be able to modify these formulas these cells with these formulas that I've worked so much so far so long on but I do want them to be able to change this source data so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unlock the cells that I want people to change so I'll select the cells that I want to allow modification I'll format those cells go to protection and unlock them so I've got some locked cells, which is most of them, and now I have some unlocked cells. Now I'm going to shut the door. Now to do that, it's really easy. You just head over to the Review tab, the Review ribbon, and notice there's a Protect Sheet option. I'm going to go ahead and click Protect Sheet, and basically it gives me a bunch of choices, and I'm going to pretty much just keep it at the defaults right now. Uh, I've got my locked cells and my unlocked cells. So password, and I'm just going to make up a password. Password, I'll press enter. It's going to ask for that password again. Enter. Now, we've just shut the door. Now, if you shut a locked door, 
those are secure. But if you shut an unlocked door, anybody can open it back up. And that's what we've got going on here. Remember all these cells here in white with my source numbers, these are unlocked. So I can come in here and change those numbers. No problem. But all my other cells are locked. This empty cell off to the right, it's locked. So if I try to change it, I get an error. If I try to change one of my month labels over here, I get an error. If I try to change a column label, an error. If I try to change my formulas, I get an error. The only thing I can change are the cells that I've unlocked. And if I, as the database user, if I need to go back in there and I need to start correcting some of my formulas, well, no problem. I just, back at my review ribbon, I click on Protect Sheet, and I have to type in my password again. And now I have access and I can change these formulas or these cells that I've previously locked. Okay, so that's a little bit with uh, protecting a sheet, but particularly locking and unlocking cells.